Okay, if you're an athlete or you're a coach, I want you to listen to what I'm about to say. Oftentimes, we don't focus on the mental aspect of training. Whether you're an absolute elite athlete or whether you are just a youth athlete, you're trying to get better, training your brain will always work. I want you to check this drill out. So most often what we have is we have athletes on the field or on the court and they have to focus on so many different things and what happens over time is they get mentally fatigued. I want to show you this drill that's going to help increase that mental attention capacity so you can be performing better, thinking faster and performing better on, the, on game day. Let's go check it out. All right guys, this next drill is gonna help your athlete train the decision-making skills of their brain. Come and check this drill out, and if you can, try and incorporate it during the warm-up sessions of your training. Let's go. Ready? Okay, so we're doing a circuit drill now. So he's working with the light, so he's using his reaction time drills and we're also working with the hand-eye coordination. Then when I stop this, he's going to turn around and he's going to do some problem solving with the number pattern at the back there. All right, let's go turn around. Can you yell out the numbers as you do them? All right, let's go back. Let's turn around. You got to five, let's go. All right, let's turn around. Turn around, let's go back. All right, turn around, let's start from 20. Stop. Good. That's good. <laughs> much happening that it's called visual noise because if you're a boxer, for example, and you're trying to focus on the fight, you're trying to like move out of the way, and you're trying to concentrate, but you've got all this noise happening in the background, you've got to really be able to prepare for that. The only way to prepare for that is to create visual noise during training. Okay, and we're going to work up to that. But this dot here, I want you to stare at it. And I want you to keep your eyes gazed on it, really focus on it. Okay. Whilst you're focusing on this, these two lights are going to be going off. I want you in your peripheral vision to hear, not just auditorily hear the lights, I want you to tap them, see them in your periphery, but keep your eyes gazed on this the entire time. We can do that. Don't take your eye off that target. So what we're going to do now, 
we're going to do a progression on from that. So normally we don't want to get the athlete and put all this pressure on them to begin with. We're going to go up in levels like in a pyramid style. So he already knows the cues of what to do. Now we're going to add a bit more demand and we're going to get him to stand on one leg. So what we're doing is we're activating the little brain, it's called the cerebellum, which is involved in coordination and posture. We're going to stand on one leg to provide more of a, a neural demand. Let's switch legs. All right, good. All right, so the sport that you're in, tennis, it involves a lot of contralateral movements, okay? So the right, side of the brain controls the left side of the body. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body. So what we're going to do is we're going to practice working on those skills. So you've got a light here, okay? You're going to be doing fast feet and I want you to be able to coordinate yourself. So with this light, you're going to hit it with your right foot, okay? And these lights here, you're going to be hitting them with your left hand. Do you see all the different types of movements that we've got going on? Okay, so let's try that out. 